perfect. For as long as I can remember, I've always seen things in a completely different way. Like growing up, whenever something was on TV, I always thought that someone was there just in time, just to make sure that, you know, they were there for our entertainment and not it was just cameras and editing and everything else. So what I'm basically saying is, growing up I always saw things in a completely different perspective. Everything was always in a better light. I always thought happy thoughts, no matter what, everything was just always happy and positive and nothing more. Like during school my mind would always wander, it would always daydream about other things, more like bigger things, instead of sitting there doing maths or learning about English and learning about everything else about what happened in history. My mind would always wonder to, oh, what, what else is there in the world? There's got to be so much more than just this place. So every time I saw a map, it was just completely, out, I, was, I was pretty much flabbergasted for a word that I just couldn't, it, my mind couldn't explain or fathom what was going on. So my brain would come up with random concoctions of what the world would be like if something different happened or something else didn't happen. So my mind would always just be happy. Now with saying that, everything that went on in my mind, everything that was going on outside of my head was completely different. Sure, it may seem like I was just a completely different person inside my brain, but as soon as, as, soon as I'd speak to someone else, it would just be completely different. As a child, I was always mollycoddled, I was never allowed out of the house as much. So you could say my social skills weren't exactly that great. <laughs> But as I got older, as I got into secondary school and a little bit more, you know, into learning, I, well, sure, my brain didn't exactly still fathom what was going on as well. But with it all, I still found a few friends along the way. I, I, I had to switch schools because I was bullied for, you know, pretty much being the weird child, being the awkward one that would not talk to people, or just think of stuff that was, you know, or just do things that was not completely into context of what else went on with the world that was with society's normality, as people would call it. So I switched schools and met a bunch of new people that completely changed my life forever. I met one kid who I was just so awkward with and so shy at too, because I didn't know who he was, he didn't know who I was, I didn't want to show him how weird I was, because I didn't want him to, you know, think of me as a complete weird or a nutter. Soon to be enough, about seven or eight years later, he is now my best friend. <laughs> But throughout the years I have noticed that hiding yourself and not, not showing pretty much who you are is stupid and should not actually happen. So slowly I've showed my weirdness to my friends and they've always kind of judged it a little bit. Not too much as to the extent of, you know, getting, you know, just like outing me. That's, that's a bit weird than saying outing, but you, get, you kind of get what I mean. But they were kind of looking at me as a, what are you on? Are you, are you kind of on some weird job that I'm not knowing about? <laughs> But over the last few weeks I've kind of noticed that if I show them my complete weirdness then I, they won't judge me because I'm just as weird as a few of them. So to that I say, I'm weird and I'm going to finally bring it out myself to show my weirdness.